never slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement Explain a little bit about what, what you may have run into. So, my name is Nick. I, I work at an emergency roadside uh, assistance program. Um, I got a call up in Truckee, uh, Boca, for a battery call. So, pretty much that means that the vehicle can't start. So, I went in route up there, found the vehicle. Um, at the time, I didn't realize that this was a situation until later on, but... Let me stop you right there. Yeah. You said you, you went to Boca. Yes, sir. Uh, so, over near Boca Lake? Yes, sir. So, not Prosser. Uh, lake, Prosser Creek Lake. Uh, it's right by Prosser Creek. Yeah, so just north. So you you went you went to Boca. At first, when I went there, I realized after my test that you know everything was working great on the vehicle. At that point in time, I did notice that like she was very hesitant and very skeptical on everything that was going on. She was asking me really weird questions, like in the sense of how do you put on your seatbelt correctly and like okay and then she asked me to show her on how to connect it to like her actual belt after that she was stating on how she was there all night and she couldn't get her vehicle started due to the fact that now we both realized it was in neutral she was wearing a sweatshirt so it looked like she has been there for quite a while what color was the sweatshirt it was a gray sweatshirt gray sweatshirt was it was it dark gray or light gray it was light gray yeah uh, also, there, there was a guy there that was with her at the time being. He was wearing a black San Francisco, flat top, ball cap, facing forwards, uh, brown hair that was sticking out just a little bit on the sides. It, it was kind of like they were both kind of at unease is, is what it looked like for me, like as if either they had a crazy night or a crazy day or there's something going on I, I couldn't know and at the time I didn't realize what was going on. But other than that, he was, uh, I mean, a thinner built guy is the best way I could put it. Um, with a bro tank and uh, it was white bro tank. Uh, he had some freckles on his face, like or maybe it was like uh, acne or whatnot, but it was on both sides of his face. Um, oh, he, he, he was also a little bit like shorter than me, so straight to voicemail, yeah. Do you know if she had a phone on her at the time? She did state that her phone was dead. Her phone and was so dead. she used whatever guy, whoever this was, she used his phone. So that's how she did get in contact. And what was, you mentioned like, she was asking funny questions and acting weird. Granted, I, I at the time I didn't realize again. That yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, being I, I've been in the towing industry my whole life, so you see a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of weird stuff, and it, it's actually pretty normal. Yeah. And, you know, so I, I can I can see why at the time it's just it's just a normal on, call. She kept on going over that, like, how do, how do you how do you like you know secure your seatbelt fat like firmly and like do it correctly, and that's when when she was asking this. Was the guy that she was with right there too? He was on the opposite side of the car. So he could hear the conversation as well? Every single time the guy would come over to us, she would go on to the other side. And it was just like a back and forth, like a tag team, better to say. Like one person would come over, she wouldn't stay near him, and then it would go vice versa. Or if we were at the front of the car going about the battery and talking about the battery, he was always on one side, she was on another. They were never close to each other. She was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, that, that, that screams uh, awkwardness and someone being uncomfortable. And when in that scenario, if he was there with her, he should have been right next to her. If not, if not dealing with you the entire time and not and not, not her. Did she seem high or intoxicated or? I, I thought that maybe she was either hung over or just had a really rough day. She looked distressed. Can you so to let people know what to look out for, if a changed shirt or something, so. Yeah, that has not been confirmed. Yesterday, we put out uh, an updated photo on a sweatshirt that Kylie was seen wearing at the party Friday evening. Uh, just to provide some clarification on that, uh, we did receive a video evidence showing Kylie at the party wearing the white sweatshirt you see to my left. To clear up any confusion, uh, that same day, Kylie was loaned that black sweatshirt you see above the first sweatshirt. Um, and we never detailed or said that she was wearing the black sweatshirt. We believe that Kylie was in possession of the black sweatshirt 
at some point during that evening, but we have received video evidence showing Kylie wearing the black sweatshirt and she was seen at the party. I'm sorry, the white sweatshirt, excuse me. Um, so I just wanted to clarify that portion. I did not want her to be driving me home um, because I, you know, I know about drunk drivers and all that. And so mm -hmm. I, smart. yeah, and I figured she would be staying there or she would find a ride home because she's a smart girl. She's smart enough to know smart and so um then uh i found her as i was leaving the party i was making sure to find her to tell her that i had another ride home and that um i loved her and i always say bye and for her to have fun at the party and then when i left the party we were all we were pretty much on 89 with my ride and um she called me as i was in the car in the passenger seat and she was like hey uh where are you still need to ride home and I was like no I'm okay like I'm in the car right now I'm driving I'm like getting driven home now but Kylie did not have a set ride home and she I was under supposed to be there they were invited there because um it was supposed to be like saying goodbye to your favorite seniors before everybody starts going off to college because soon enough here people are gonna um, just going around the party, we were drinking the same drinks, being teenagers, throwing glow sticks into the party. And it started to grow really big, I would say around 10 to 10.30. It just blew up. Like, it started to get to the point where I was getting overwhelmed. And I'm a very social person. I've been to a lot of these parties. I've never been overwhelmed. I've actually been underwhelmed. But at this party, it was, it was very large. Like, it was bigger than any party we've had in Truckee all year and for a lot of years past there are people from what we think Sacramento, San Francisco, I remember talking to somebody who's from San Francisco, wow. Reno, Folsom, areas that were just way out of reach from it and it was really overwhelming and weird to see but I didn't really think much of it I just thought oh kids are around here they have vacation homes up here they're just coming to party because why not so then Kylie and I we're going around taking shots and just drinking. We were trading drinks with each other. We were sharing drinks with each other. We would go back to her car to get some alcohol sometimes. And then we went to her car to charge her phone. And we were talking about um, just random stuff. And then it's kind of hard to remember. And so, or no, we were talking about... Um, is that what she was wearing? Yeah, so that top is exactly what I saw her in. If you can see on her left side, on her hip, you can see some skin. She was wearing a black bodysuit. I remember because we went to the bathroom together, eat in the woods together a couple of times. And so that's her shirt right there. The pants were different that she wore to the party. She was wearing green Dickies pants, but that belt is definitely what she's wearing too. I remember watching her have to take it off when we were using the restroom together. We were out using the outdoor restroom. If, like okay. popping bot basically so yeah that and was just released from the uh she's like because i didn't want to ride home with her like almost like she's like well i don't know why she called me back like i told her i had to ride home it's almost like there was some kind of hostility there let me know what you guys think i'm, I'm sensing it big time on this one yeah watch when she says because i didn't want to drive home with her like you didn't want to drive home with her for some reason why because there was some kind of fight i mean she goes on to say that she calls her back and it's like almost like she's like mad or like she's like oh, attitude man it's coming through like crazy all right i'll shut up and keep you guys watching um i was the last person to see her and talk to her actually she called me at 12 36 in the morning asking if i still needed a ride home from the party even though about 10 minutes before that i had told her like i'm leaving i already have another ride because i didn't want to drive home with her um and so I had told her that, but she still ended up calling me at 12.36 asking if I needed a ride and she sounded just really drunk, I guess. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments about that, about what you think. And yeah. do you know if she had a phone on her at the time? She did state that her phone was dead. Her phone and was so dead. she used whatever guy, whoever this was, she used his phone. So that's how she did get in contact. And, and what was, you mentioned like she was asking funny questions.